Hey everybody, Seek for Jesus Rick here. I'm um, still Eat for Jesus Rick. I'm thinking about changing it to uh, the channel name to Plant Based Grandpa, Plant Powered Cycling Grandpa, something like that. But um, anyway, I want to make this video today, get this out, because I watched a great movie last night. It was Martin Scorsese's movie Silence. It's about two Jesuit priests who travel from Portugal to Japan to rescue their priest that taught them, Liam Neeson, and it's reported that he has denounced the faith and is living in Japan, and they don't think it's possible. So this movie, Silence, is about the silence of God in the face of suffering, faith and perseverance in the face, face of suffering. And these Japanese Christians were tortured. These priests were tortured. I thought it was a true story. It's, um, it's based on a novel in 60, 1966. And the main character is based on a real person. But the other characters are not. And it's really about how Buddhists in Japan in the 1600s were very violent and they had an inquisitor. And they would either make Christians denounce their faith or they would torture them to death. And it's a very brutal film. and But it's a very Christian film. It's very much about the heart of Christianity and what it means to be a Christian and follow Christ's example of humility and suffering. It it's really makes you think as a Christian. You know, I have friends that uh, have Buddha in the back of their background. That's cool. I like Buddha bowls, and, and uh, I always thought Buddha and yoga, that's what I thought of with Buddhism. In this movie... The Buddhists are really violent. Not what you think of Buddhism on YouTube or the Buddha, little Buddha in the back. Because I have good friends that have that and love them. I'm just telling you about the movie. And there are scenes in this movie that are brutal. And there are scenes... Like I said, this is about the silence of God. And the soundtrack is really important. And um, there's a scene that I can't tell you too much, but it's about the silence of God. And it's toward the end. It's very moving to me, and it's not going to make everybody happy. This film was highly rated by the critics, not so much by the audience. Tomatoes, Rotten Tomatoes gave it like in the 60s for audience, but way up there for the critics. And it reminds me so much of the movie No Country for Old Men, which I watched several times. And the first time I watched it, it was very, I thought, this is bleak. There's no hope. But it was so complicated. I kept watching it, kept watching it. And there is a glimmer of hope in it. And so, this movie is complicated. The priests are tortured psychologically. And you are, as a Christian, tortured psychologically. And you think, what would I do? How much torture would I endure? How much torture would I endure watching my fellow Christians endure? Would Christ forgive me for actions, for denouncing him? And uh, I don't want to give away too much, but the movie is beautiful. Every scene is choreographed. It's framed perfect. The people are in just a perfect position, position and, and uh, it's great. The colors are great. The Japanese countryside, the beaches, the huts, the villages are great. There's a Judas character in this that keeps reoccurring and you want to hate him. And I can't tell you too much, but you, wow. 
It's not one of those easy films to watch. And some Christians are not going to like it, but I thought it was pretty moving. Life is not perfect. Christians are not perfect. You wonder what God's voice is and why he doesn't stand up to things. And this movie kind of answers that. Well, anyway, I, I'm, the reason why I want to do this was that I wanted you to rent the movie before it gets out of pay-per-view. It's been on pay-per-view a long time. It's now toward the end on Comcast, and it may not be on pay-per-view, but just be sure to watch it. Martin Scorsese did a gamble on this movie, and it's very much a Christian movie and a movie about faith in Christ, and you can see the sincerity. This is not a fake movie about someone who doesn't believe. You have to think that Martin Scorsese knows a lot about Christianity and feels this way about it, to direct something so beautiful and so meaningful. So watch Silence this week, ASAP, and tell me what you think. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, make a comment if you have seen it. And um, I'm sorry if you disagree with me, that's all right. But I like sincere movies about the most important thing in my life, and that's my faith in Christ. So thank you again for watching.